How's it? Welcome back. So I had a request come in, wanted me to go over the Liminal Dreaming and Lucid Dreaming book collection I got. So I got my books laid out over here and we'll run through them pretty quickly because I got football and stuff I want to watch today. So I'll share a few words on each of the books if I have anything to say because some of them I never even read yet. And uh, yeah, we'll get right on rolling. So first up, because um, he did specifically ask about Liminal Dream stuff, hypnagogic type work. Uh, the first one is Liminal Dreaming by Jennifer Dumper. This is a really amazing book. It's the only book I've ever come across that was specifically aimed at Liminal Dream, hypnagogic type stuff, which is a topic that, of course, I love to death. You know, as far as I know, I might be like the one person on the Internet who talks about hypnagogic and Liminal Dream stuff the most. So for that reason alone, it's in like my top three books ever for sure. I did a, um, also all these first books I'm going over are books I did like basically uh, full breakdowns on on the channel. So that's the first one. Um, this one right here, obviously, Michael Rodriguez's book, The Phase, really awesome book. I'm working my way through this one right now. A lot of great info in here. Also talks about some kind of liminal dream stuff in, in here as well. Then we have Dreams of Light, which is by Andrew Holacek. He's like one of my favorite authors in the space. Actually, the um, his other book, Dream Yoga, this is one of the first books I ever read on the topic. And so I've always been intending, because I learned a lot from this book, been intending to do like a full breakdown of it on my channel. However, when I read this book back in the day, I wasn't into doing highlights or anything like that. So in order for me to do a breakdown of it, how I would, how I would like to, I'd have to like reread the damn thing, put my highlights in. So uh, that might never come, but who knows, one day far in the future, maybe we'll get it, um, we'll go ahead and do that. I did start breaking down this book. I was starting a video review series on it. Um, kind of stalled out on it. Like I didn't feel like, like he, he kind of talks about, uh, just the way he talks about it is stuff I'm not really, I don't really feel like I can add much in. So I felt like I was just like reading my highlights straight up. So I kind of took a pause on it, but this is a very dope book. I like this one better though. Um, and yeah, so that's that. Those are those two. Dreaming the Divine. I did read this book and I know I've referenced it, um, you know, in several videos over the years. However, um, you know, definitely not going to do a full breakdown of it, but I did read this one and I throw some info and stuff out there when it crosses my mind. Although, like by this point, I've read so many of these books, I don't really remember where I get certain information and stuff from. So, and it's been so many years since I've read that one. You know, even if I do pull info from it or something from my memory, I'm not going to know that I actually pulled it from that. So I can't really reference it or anything. But anyway, um, oh, Divine Dreamers did not uh, did not read this book yet. Did not do a video breakdown of it, but I totally plan on. This is from one of the guys who comes and checks out my work all the time. So I almost even had a chance to write in this book as well, although um, I didn't. Anyway, so that's a cool one. Why We Dream did a breakdown of this one. A lot of great info on like um, studies and things that were done. Oh, let's just grab a whole bunch here. Uh, the New Frontiers of Lucid Dreaming. This is one of the more recent books I did a video breakdown on. One of my favorite books when it comes to um, the Lucid Dreaming topic. Uh, Inner Work. I only did the active imagination part um, of this book. Very famous book. Thought it was kind of cool, but um, you know, wasn't really my cup of tea. Uh, Explorations in Consciousness. This was my first more like OBE um, angled book. Very fun one. I did a full breakdown of this. You know, uh, that was cool. Dreams by Tree Carr. She's awesome. I've uh, been following her for a long time. Um, I liked her work. One of her other books I picked up, this one here, Conscious Dreamer. Mostly just to support because um, I kind of really do a video breakdown of it. I think this was more aimed at, um, you know, helping you get started on, on your dream work practice. But, you know, awesome. If you are new to the practice, uh, I mean, you could totally pick this, up, uh, pick this one up. It was sure it would help out a lot. This one had a lot of good information in it as well. Uh, are you dreaming this is the first book i ever did a video breakdown on by daniel love i love daniel love's work uh very good book a lot of great info in there dream guidance this was more about um like getting information and stuff from your dreams which is um a topic that i've always kind of had a harder time really grasping anyway did a video breakdown of it, it was another cool one probably the most famous lucid dreaming book aside from um what's his face uh, Stephen LaBerge's book, like, uh, this one right here. This is probably the most famous, but this is like one of the newer books. Um, very awesome. A lot of great info. Did a full breakdown of it as well. All right. Now onto the books that I've read and I, you know, kind of intend to do video breakdowns of some of these books, but, um, we'll see. I got a big backlog of shit I want to do. So covered, um, Stephen LaBerge's book, super famous. Did that one already. 
All right, next stack of books. Uh, this is a really cool one. Um, Lucid, The Tao of Dreaming by Daniel Love as well. Not really worthy of doing like a video breakdown of this one. They're kind of more like poems and stuff like that, but super awesome. Uh, I know I did at least read, I forget what my favorite one was, but whatever my favorite um, little poem thing, I did make a video on it at some point. It's somewhere buried on my channel. That's a cool one. Uh, Dreams of Awakening. You know, I started reading this one. I don't really remember much about it. Uh, you know, I see my highlights and stuff in here. But uh, yeah, probably pretty cool. Maybe I'll do a breakdown of it one day. <laughs> uh, this was a great one. This is a book that someone, uh, one of my friends gifted me when I was first kind of getting into all this stuff. A lot of really great info in here. One of the first books I read, learned a lot from it. Uh, you know, and I do, oh no, I don't have my highlights in here. Oh yeah, I had a book of this and then um, one of my nieces came to visit and she was kind of interested in this stuff. So I gave her my book with the highlights and then I bought another book. Because I was thinking, because I remember when I was going through it, I did want to make a video series on it. But then the whole same thing, like um, Andrew Holacek's book, I'd have to like reread it, re-put my highlights in. That's a lot of work. We'll see if I ever get around to it. But I can definitely recommend this book. This was a good one. Um, Dreaming Yourself Awake. Oh, man, I kind of forget about what was in this book. I started reading it. Oh, did I finish it? My highlights are going pretty far back. Oh, no, my highlights stopped. Oh, no, they're still going. Oh, shit, I finished reading this book. Oh, I kind of forgot about that. So maybe I'll do a video breakdown of it. Any of these books that I finished and I have my highlights in, it would probably be kind of easy for me to bust a series out. So who knows, maybe one day um, I'll do a video breakdown of it. Although, honestly, I forget what's in it. Uh, the Tibetan Book of the Dead, amazing book. I would never try to make a video series on this. It's like too high above me, but kind of like standard reading. If you're into this stuff, you got to read it. Um, that's a classic. Oh, Carlos Castaneda's The Art of Dreaming. Did I do a video breakdown of this book? I don't remember, but this was a fun read. Kind of more like just story oriented versus like, you know, these other ones that are like specifically trying to help you with the practice. But just from reading the stories in there, you can get a lot of good um, lucid dreaming tips and techniques from the book. So that's a classic. That's a good one. The Bhagavad Gita. I did read this one. Again, another book I wouldn't do a video breakdown on. Although I do have my highlights and stuff in here. But uh, yeah, another classic kind of standard reading if you're into this stuff. Uh, the Tibetan Yogas of Dream and Sleep, one of the first books I read too. I got my highlights in here, but another book I probably won't do um, a video breakdown on. More like uh, required reading, basically. Uh, when Brains Dream. This was a pretty good one. I kind of forget what it was covered. I know I've referenced this book a lot. I got my highlights and things in here. Um, so this is another one that in the future maybe... Oh no, I didn't. So I read like half of this book. So one day I might do a video breakdown of this one as well. All right, now, um, oh, a couple other books I did video breakdowns on, or at least I read and I kind of added in. Okay, not that one. But uh, Visualization Power and Creative Visualization. So I did, a, I did a little series on, I think I probably included this in the Active Imagination one. I can't remember, but I've referenced these books a lot. I did a little video series on just basically visualization stuff, which for me kind of gets more towards like the whole hypnagogic liminal work in a way. So, you know, cool. I, I remember I like this one a lot better than this one. Ah. All right. So um, the backlog, Mutual Dreaming. I have started reading this one. Um, pretty cool, but you know my stance on Mutual Dreaming. I like to think and kind of hope it's real, but I don't actually believe it's possible. But anyway, um, been, been a cool read. I was reading this on uh, one of my trips for work the, um, uh, just earlier this week. Yeah, the last two weeks. So I've been working my way through it. Kind of neat. I might reference it at some point in the future. Um, Dreams of Awakening, did not read this one, another one of the more popular books, but um, one I've always thought, uh, you know, maybe I'll go through and bust a series out on at some point. Ooh, which one is this here? The Lucid Dreamer by Malcolm Godwin. So I found this book randomly in a bookstore a while ago, and I thought it was neat. Anytime I would go to bookstores, I always try to find whatever um, Lucid Dreaming stuff they have. I've had some people on the channel tell me they like really like this book. So I did start reading it. I mean, I'm not that far and probably like a quarter of the way through. I did throw some highlights in there, but I remember when I was reading it, it, it didn't really come off as a book that I would really want to go ahead and do a full breakdown on, but you know, kind of a classic. Uh, Waking, Dreaming and Being. Okay, I got this book. I could barely even read the damn thing. This is like way too above my head. Um, I Yeah, I've tried to read it several times. How far did I get? I got like, uh, oh, 
gosh, where do my highlights in? 22 pages, is that it? Or does it go back to zero? Okay, I got like 20 something pages into this one. It's like, oh damn, kind of kind of too hard of a read there, but uh, kind of another classic, so maybe I'll get to that one day. Uh, An Experiment with Time. This was one recommended to me as well. Um, God, I did kind of, oh no, I barely read this one. So uh, this was another one that was kind of just outside of my belief system, if I remember correctly. Anyway, maybe I'll hop back to it, but I do have it. Then again, my backlog's too big. There was an, also a time where I was planning on doing like, um, kind of getting into the more of the Hawaiian culture around dreaming. So I bought some books kind of related to that. So like Hawaiian Legends of Dream, uh, Hawaiian Myths of Earth, Sea, and Sky. And there's a lot of dream references and stuff in these books. Uh, you know, once I started kind of looking at trying to do that project, especially with being how, um, you know, how into the culture a lot of people around here can be, I feel like if I'm really going to want to do this right, I really have to do it right. And so, yeah, we'll see if I ever get around to that. But that is kind of a, on my backlog of things. Uh, where else we at here? And then these are just some other kind of random books. My mom bought me this book, The, the Tao of Pooh. Very interesting read. Didn't finish it, but that was a neat one. Uh, Zen, Beginner's Mind, classic, wonderful book. Um, would never do a full breakdown of it, but this is, you know, whether you're into uh, lucid dreaming or not, this is just a good book for anyone to read, period. Awesome. Hardcore Zen, uh, my uncle gave this to me when I was first trying to really start to take my uh, meditation practice more seriously. So I learned a lot from this book. This was when I was really, you know, new to the practice. And so this was actually quite influential on me, although I don't practice Zen specifically. Sam Harris is waking up. Uh, I like Sam Harris for his, um, you know, um, meditation stuff. His, his meditation app is my favorite. You know, he gets kind of crazy politically a lot of times, so he's kind of really divisive. But at least when it comes to his things like this, I really like it. And then even when it comes to his political stuff, you know, I don't agree with everything he says, but he's such a smart dude that I do like to hear his point of view and him debate. He's a great debater. Like him and uh, Jordan Peterson had some really classic debates in the past. And they have a relatively newer i think like within the last year or so like they were not on speaking terms for a while at least from kind of how i understood the situation but then within the last year or so they did a like another joint podcast together that was a cool listen um altered traits this one i've referenced a lot and i use this in some of my um like trainings i do for work but if i ever i always try to squeeze in like meditation stuff because i do a lot i give a lot of trainings for work and stuff like that so if i ever get an opportunity to talk about meditation i always try to and then i reference studies and stuff that were done in this book it's a really great one and then another classic kind of like standard reading if you're into any of this um you know uh consciousness type stuff although gosh how much conscious related was this anyway classic so um the Tao Te Ching this one is really cool I remember I did do at least one video on my favorite little poem thing they have in here it's really dope um uh, wherever that is and uh, I guess just to wrap it up because I got almost all my other books over here Mad Wives and uh Mad Wives and Island Dreams. So I can't remember where I got this recommendation from. I got it from someplace, and then it was like a super cheap book. So I picked it up, and then like I read like you know the first page or so, and went, ah, you know, I'm good. I'll read that later, and I'll probably never read it, but I got it. Uh, another book that my mom got me, um, Tomorrow Adventures in an Uncertain World. This was like a cool one to kind of like read to kids. Uh, got a lot of cool pictures and stuff in it. Short read. That's a fun one. And then to cap it off. This book here, this is a really dope book, um, The Land of Nod. Again, it's a short story book, like super short, you know, they got like, you know, one sentence per, per page sometimes, but really creative, awesome book, great um, artwork and stuff like that. So if you have kids, uh, get this book and then, um, you know, read it to them because it's dope. So anyway, that's that. I did that in one go. I'm happy with that because I got football and shit to watch. So that'll wrap it up. Thanks for the recommendation. And until the next video, keep your... Huh? Lucid Dreaming Practice. Legit. Oh, and um, a couple more things I should add in there is my Kindle collection. Now, we won't go through all of these because I have several books um, in my Kindle that I don't have physical copies of. But a few of these I want to give a shout out to. So the first one, having just talked about this one here, The Land of Nod being good for kids. This is probably like the best one for kids. That's another book by Michael Rodriguez who wrote The Phase, the book I'm currently been working my way through. So um, his little kid like fairy tale stories is called... The Faisyland Fairy Tales, that one is like perfect for kids because um, it lays it out in a nice like kid friendly, um, you know, child book entertaining way you can read it to them before they're going to sleep. But it also teaches 
a lot of the fundamental skills and techniques around lucid dreaming. So definitely check that out if you've got kids. And then the other one, uh, Powerful, uh, Powerful Lucid Dreaming Techniques, was a book by this guy, Jai D J A E. I guess last name starts with D. I'm not too sure, but that's a really great one. Remember, it was really cheap on Kindle. And it's just another um, concise book that has a lot um, of info packed in there. And then the other one that I was, I started reading, was kind of planning on getting to it. Um, haven't done so yet, but Behind the Veil by Daniel Kelly. So he was another guy who, um, you know, who's been in the community. I follow his work too. So, um, you know, he recommended me checking it out and I was starting to read it. It was a good read. I never finished reading it, but uh, should I ever do it, I'll get the physical copy and we'll do a full breakdown of that as well. But anyway, um, with that said, I think that was all the main ones I wanted to call out. Yeah, that's it. Time for football. Peace.